yeah I mean I think the whole I've worked in, like I say, I worked in like FU colleges. So I worked at like a from college down in Worthing, and it was doing like BTECs and HNDs and like they did like a like BAs and stuff like that. But yeah, like I was been super interested in the way that you teach music mm. technology to young people. Yeah, and yeah. I found it really interesting, like the way that you kind of develop that thing in your project. Yeah. So, for example, I could, I could hear you sort of like oh, I should have come up and said, and I like, had a conversation. We just never really got that chance. I could hear you playing like a triplet rhythm, mm -hmm. like a den, 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 like over like a three over a two. And it was like, actually, like, for somebody that has like no musical experience, that's a little bit of a, a thing is. to get your head round. It is, it is. And you f you completely forget that. I mean, for people like you and me, you're like, yeah, that but, but they don't get it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, that is, that is very, very true. But I think people see that as a barrier. Right. I think you can do that and say, oh, I can't get it. And then that's, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, yeah. But my whole thing is, just practice, just keep, play keep, along. Keep listening. And if you play along, eventually you're going to realise, hey, what I'm playing is not in time. Let me get it in time yeah. to that, that beat there. But then there's another kind of question which I always think about, which is like how much of musical ability is innate? And like, does, does that sense of rhythm like go back, mm. like back, back, back yeah, yeah. to like... No. You don't think so? No, not at all. Not at all. I think there are levels. I don't know. It's like you get people up and like no matter how old they are, you see people on okay. the dance floor and they they got a groove, right? Yeah. yeah. They've got a groove. Like you, you you don't teach anyone to dance. Yeah. They might just they like to go out clubbing and yeah. partying. But you know, you put a beat on and you can see that their hips shift in a certain way and yeah. there yeah. are certain people that you can see they're just a bit clunky. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. The thing is, the thing about that, I mean, we're, we're talking about this in the sense of, okay, uh, maybe the drums or the piano or something. To, to be at a specific type of level, yeah, you're going to need some skill. Yeah. Yeah? But I'm, what I'm saying is, is a piano music, is that the ultimate? Is that the be all and end all? Yeah, no, yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. So when it comes down to it, yeah. You don't need to be proficient, you just need to understand. And what I'm saying is, if I show you something, can you repeat it? Right, right. Yeah? If I say to you, one, two, three, four, you can repeat that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I go, you can repeat that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's do that over and over again mm. until you can get that where it needs to be. But I mean, is that like, it, it would be interesting to think about like how you pitch it at certain levels. Mm. So like, obviously that's, like that, that, that's a goal, but like, if you gave, give somebody a goal that they find like really, really hard, it's like, for example, if somebody can't work out like, like a triplet rhythm, yes. then it's like, well, okay, let's take that back and let's see if you can hit like a bass drum on the one and a snare drum on the two. Exactly what and I then, do. Right, exactly right, what I do. Right, okay, so what I was okay. doing with Chris, do that rhythm. Okay, you can't get it. Well, let's try this one then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then you instill some and confidence. Then he gets it. Okay, and now. Dum, dum, yeah, dum, yeah, dum, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. you've got that. Dum, 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 yeah, and yeah, then yeah. it just, do you know what I mean? It yeah, builds. Okay. And then you, whoever it is, has the, uh, the same understanding I have, but in their own way. This whole experience of being on this drift has given me the opportunity to showcase what I think or what I thought my theory in the first place right. and I think through the workshops that we've done that I'm correcting my theory because I've I, had, I literally want people to come in that do not know anything about music do, yeah. don't, haven't played an instrument whoever's come in and said I play this instrument or that okay pick up a triangle pick up uh, some shapers yeah yeah you can keep the rhythm I actually want these guys that don't have any interest in music at all to come and see how much fun it is right, and that's right. what the whole thing was I mean there was a lady in there no proficiency in music loved that little kalimba right. when the session was finished she was still banging on it yeah you, yeah. Might, have, you, know? you might have shown her something that she never she even never thought about because exactly. right. everyone everyone is a musician at some point anyway Indeed. like even as a listener yeah you yeah know, there are some some of the people I've got some of the best advice for from music are Absolutely. musicians they're just yeah. people who really like to listen to music and stuff mm -hmm. but you know what seeing the performances in here as well especially with people who aren't musicians as well is an eye-opener for being a musician just mm -hmm. to see how other people process your music when they listen to yeah, you and stuff yeah. like that and even just seeing the other things as well I mean but, it's interesting um, to show them okay this is the drum pattern do this yeah, yeah, yeah. 
this is what I've, I've done it three or four times. Now you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like Chinese whispers. Yeah, you yeah. You know, and you just you see what they do. Ah, oh, so that's what you took from it. Okay, yeah. so if I change, and what I did, I changed my approach for the second session, just to see. And it's like, but in, in the third session, I'd simplified everything, mm -hmm. and it was the best ensemble that we had. And yeah. none of those people played instruments. Claudia was in there. Never right, played an instrument. right, right, yeah. right, right. But she was in there keeping time on the old cow. Oh, no, she should be able to. You know I mean? She's a dancer, so she's got rhythm. Ah, that's natural it, that's rhythm, it, yeah, yeah. That's it, that's so it is. So these skills are skills, transferable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. rhythm is transferable, man. We've all got heartbeats. Definitely. <laughs> but in terms of, uh, let's, let's talk about your performance. I didn't get to see your yeah, performance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I came out of this whole experience from like a very technical level. Mm. And like, I've been working with Children's Judge for like, since like January. And generally, like, I used to, I used to perform electronic music out, and like, did lot, I've always been a performer, like deep down. Like I was playing in bands when I was like 15. Mm. Moved down to Brighton, played in bands, started my own kind of electronic thing, played out at night. And I've completely let that go in the past, maybe like three or four years, when I went to go like freelance because it was just like I want to make a living out of this now. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I have got so many friends that like, yeah. They've gone down the music route and are just producers and are fucking incredible producers and have still like struggled yeah. like mm -hmm. making a living. Mm -hmm. And I listen I listen to like what I produce <laughs> and I was just like, oh from a technical point of view, my stuff isn't anywhere near this guy, right? Mm. So like I I'm not gonna I don't wanna give up my whole self yeah. to that now, right? So I've now started working with other people and like being like a very kind of technical like sound designer and working with like theatre companies and yeah, this was kind of my first opportunity to really get back to thinking about what I wanted to make. Mm -hmm. Three years on from just being like a producer and it's so, okay, well I've been working with like theatre companies and theatre directors now and sometimes theatre directors that I've thought, this is such a right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, given myself half the chance, I think I might be able to do something myself, mm, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I haven't been able to give myself that space and that freedom wow. for a long time. And this is the first opportunity that I've had yeah. in like that's four exactly or five yeah. years mm. to sit down and be like, I'm not going to make something that's just musical. I've got all this experience now of like working with directors and theatre companies and thinking, and you know, like George and Judger and immersive companies and thinking about what performance means and I know you guys obviously think about that quite a lot on this MA and stuff. Mm -hmm. So for me, being able to like, and yeah, after the first day when I did like that first exercise, which is very much just like a big sound edit of like some recordings that I made, and it was like, oh, it's all in headphones. So I could spend the next four days recording stuff, cutting stuff up, making like a sound collage in the dark. And I was thinking more about like sensory deprivation and how much could we like transfer people in the sound world. Then I was like, yeah, let's think about like, like get myself out of my comfort zone, mm -hmm. get some text in there, maybe stand up in front of people and say some stuff Ooh. out loud. Like Jesus, I haven't done that for a little while. <laughs> yeah, it can, it can take, it's, it's, it's like taking. Obviously, they here they can really take like your your creative ideas, put them together, and and make art. Yeah, right. And that's what this place gives you. It gives you that that little piece of and just having the freedom because it's not working towards anything like big or funded or you know looking to like have like a big pressure on anything like in terms of the output. So it's just like well you know it's not a problem. Let me see what it feels like now to get up and read something and you know I was still hiding behind the technology a little bit because I had like a binaural mic in the room. It was like. You know, people aren't focusing on me, I'm just like... If you doesn't hide behind hope, technology yeah. these days anyway, we're, 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 we're not on stage, I hide behind my dark glasses, you yeah, know what right, I mean? Right. <laughs> side of me that just wants to go out and use this new like piece of equipment that I bought, but also, like, yeah, kind of working things out into like a performance and what, what I might want to do as like a performance like now, which is cool. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's funny you say that because oh, me, myself and Matt are, you know, music artist, you know, production, 